Hey everyone, we're heading to a new mystery destination today. Our worldly possessions are packed. Gunner's almost ready. Breakfast is in the basement. Hey, could you actually get service at your table here? What do we have here? Oh, Weetabix cereal. So this is what we get, eggs. Eggs and toast. Like eggs? It smells a bit funny. Is it good? Goodbye, little hotel. If you are traveling on the 1104, form a queue behind my colleague, please. Uh, I've been standing in front of St. Pancras Rail Station, which is where you catch the Eurostar, and uh, which right now is a little bit hectic. I'm a little bit nervous because we're switching countries, but I think it's going to be okay. Well, we've been here about an hour. And um, our train is delayed. The train is delayed. We might have to wait another hour. What's funny is um, they tell you on the website to show up three hours early. And um, I think that's a very bad idea. You're going to be camping out here all day. It's our turn now. Huge lineup, but it moves quickly. All the uh, fancy stores, got Chanel perfume right here. Lots and lots of people. Wow, that was literally a piece of cake. I, I don't know what I was expecting. Very, very smooth. It was nothing. Okay, so they're letting us into France. <laughs> we just have to find our car. Here's our seat. We do have a little table and that seems like a lot of leg room. Mystery destination. We're going to Paris. Okay, we're taking the channel train, which connects England to France, which goes under the English Channel. I'm not really a closed spaces kind of person. I'm, I'm also not really like an underwater kind of person, but I, I just decided we're gonna do it and it's gonna be fine. It was either a plane, a ferry, or the channel. And this was the most efficient and I think the price was roughly the same. It might've been cheaper with the ferry, but it would've taken a lot longer. We're moving. I was a bit nervous about going into the channel. My friend told me, don't worry about it, it's like taking the metro to Long Bay. <laughs> Except, you know, five times as long. Uh oh, I think this is it. Okay, completely, um, well, look, you can see me. It's dark. So basically just sitting inside the train in a tube and it's totally dark and let's just not think about it. sat down and uh, you know my throat was a little dry and wanted some water so I reached out and grabbed this bottle that was in front of me <laughs> assuming that it was my mother's uh, and unfortunately I assumed wrong as I was drinking it I looked up and I was drinking someone else's water 
I just snatched it and I look up and the guy is looking at me like I'm confused. So then I notice what I had done. So I put it back down and try to act like nothing happened. <laughs> Uh, I kind of pushed it back towards him and he looked up like... <laughs> yeah, I might as well clear something up here. Oh, a lot of people have been asking me, um, Sonia, how did you get out of Canada? I mean, did they ask you your vaccination status? Which, of course they did. Uh, so when I went to the airport, the um, security personnel actually filled the form out for me. And then where it says, uh, I am fully vaccinated, uh, they just looked at me and I went, <laughs> and they just checked, fully vaccinated. I was on my way. And then coming into France, it was the same thing. I just arrived at the customs. Show, I showed my ticket, I showed my passport. I was, <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Welcome to France. We're out of the channel. We're in France. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to France. France. Well, the local time is uh, 13. Yeah, I'm exhausted. <laughs> well, the ride is over. I'm ready to sleep. Right. Oh my god, that looks like shit. It's not hard to figure out where to go, but like once you get, look, it's all automatic. There's automatic machines, but you don't know where to get the car. Um, it was kind of better in England, at least there's somebody to help you, but here there's nobody. Oh, they have these barriers so you can't kill yourself. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, no, no jumping in the metro in Paris. Follow the signs. It's really not that hard. It was actually faster than taking a taxi. Obviously cheaper to come up right on our street. Okay, first impression of Paris. Stay close to me. Well, the Café Parisien. And bien sûr, this is what I expected. Oh, la vie est belle. <laughs> This is where we have la vie en rose. Et un autre café. Et un autre café. Très beau, très beau les cafés partout. Pizza, café. Et c'est où le 49? Okay, we have to find the 49. D'après moi, I think the 49 is going to be down that way. Okay, you, you get to see like a little bit of Paris, like first impressions right here. Those beautiful buildings, of course, and the cafes. That's absolutely perfect. Perfect for me. So happy. I've never been here before. Oh my God, Gunnar just pointed something out to me that's really interesting. You see this? Okay, the film Nope. It's called Nope here. In Quebec, they went out of their way to call it Vainon. Parce qu'au Québec, on parle français. Like, you can't have a film called Nope. No anglicisms allowed, but in France, they call it Nope. Hmm. They just call it the name of yeah, I guess they're not so afraid of being taken over by the English over here. Okay, uh, we did a little bit of a detour. Actually, that wasn't the street, but now we've got it. it should be around here somewhere. We just have to find 49. Oh, you there arrived. it is. Ah, oh, we found it. Okay, so here is our hotel. So this is Rue Vavin, which our hotel is on. Here's our hotel, Atelier Vavin. And uh, that's that big uh, street, I think it was called Montparnasse, which we were on, we should have turned down, but we didn't. <laughs> Guys, look at this elevator. What? Um, it's a big nope from me. We're gonna take the stairs. It looks like we're going up the medieval tower, but we're only on the first floor. <laughs> Merci. Oh my gosh, look at this. C'est une aventure, hein? Oh, gotta be careful. 
what? Like, literally, you guys, this... I thought we were done with the medieval castle. Oh my god, this is... What the... I have never seen anything like this. This is the staircase. It's just totally a spiral. No wonder people take the elevator. Oh, okay. Woo! Oh my god, what have we gotten ourselves into? Oh no, it's even smaller than the last place. Uh, I told Gunnar that the hotel in Paris is going to be better and you're going to relax. Because he was like, oh, it's so small here in London. We get to Paris. Uh, like, seriously, this room, it's like a closet. I hit myself uh, on the head yeah. when I was in London. Just trying to get into it bed. So small. Okay, let's see what we have here. Holy crap. God, this place seems way really small. Well, that's what you get when you want to travel cheap. Oh, the room is really nice, though. Oh, no, the room is big. Okay. Where's the light? But you have no light. No, no we, we have light. Wait, I just, I'm just stupid. I, I don't know how to turn it on. Gosh, look how cute. Okay, Gunnar, you can stop messing with all the light switches. Look how nice. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, my God. I love it. Gunner. It feels like we're staying in, like, a medieval house, eh? But the, the building is probably, like, from the 1700s. So exciting. How do you turn this thing on? I'm back to having problems with the lighting. Wow, that it's really nice. Wait, what's this? What's that? Where <laughs> Get out of there! What are you doing? Stop it! It's loud! <laughs> it's shitty what you're doing! <laughs> God, you oh, child. Oh, oh, Wait, I just want to find the light. No wonder it was so cheap. The fucking lights don't work. Okay, what do we have here? Oh. oh. There's a window. <laughs> There's like nothing there. There's something. You gotta move your head. Like I opened it and I thought, okay, let's see the view. And then it's like, oh, a closet. And then... This is like the kind of place where the rats would come in. I mean, we better be careful. Unlike the other place, I hope that the, the window closes, opens. But the problem is you wouldn't want to close the door. What in the world? Look, the sewer pipe is right there. The door anyways, because it's too dark. Tell me the window opens. <sighs> no. How are we going to sleep with this window open when, like, literally whoever's on the other side can just come right in our window. Like, that doesn't seem right. Oh, no. That doesn't seem safe. I think budget travel. It was either this or the sixth floor, and I was so scared to get in that elevator, and I was like, no, I'll take the first floor. No. Okay, we gotta... The then we have to get in that elevator. I don't care. I'm gonna see what I can do about the room situation. When you come out... Like, it's like a bad acid trip. Like, there's this tiny little elevator here that you have to be skinny to use it. Oh, my God. Uh, and, and there's this. Is it's like a nightmare for people with claustrophobia. Is, my hotel is fat phobic because I can't fit in the elevator. Oh, my God, I'm in that elevator, but I'm here with the gentleman from the reception, <laughs> so I feel a little better, but look. It's so small. Oh. <laughs> Looks like I survived. Okay, we got it all sorted. No, don't worry, Gunner. No, it's okay about the view. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so we have the lights are on. Lights are on in the bathroom. We've got the AC running. Like about this window, like this is just sort of a light well in between the two buildings. So he said, like, don't worry about it. Nobody can come in there. The guy like kind of freaked me out because when he came in to help, he asked permission to enter the room, which it's like, of course you have permission. I asked you to come up here. He's like, Je peux rentrer? And I was like, oui, mais vous êtes pas vampire, vous avez besoin de la permission. And like, do you need permission? Are you, what are you, a vampire? You need my permission. And then uh, he's gonna show up tonight with his arms out, like with his long nails like, sticking out. You can see the shadows on the wall. Oh, here comes the manager, you know? I don't know, maybe he was a vampire. Well, it is Paris, you know? Here's the bed area. It's not cramped. There's plenty of space at the foot of the bed, too. I like the style with the round wall and this little thing here. It's nice. Got a little closet. It's a nice style. I really like it. We're in a tower. 
Okay, we uh, finally got out. We're gonna look for something to eat. What do you see, Gunner? Ah, Barabier. We're looking for something. Hey, we're thinking, uh, okay, this is uh, Montparnasse Street, a big, huge boulevard. Actually, I like the way the street is so big. It's pretty cool. We don't want Asian cuisine. We, we have Asian cuisine all the time, so no thanks. What's this? He keeps saying that Rababa Babra Beer Garten. Well, you're gonna see Rababa Babra Beer Garten Baba and Berti Babia Beer when we get to Germany. Okay, we found a restaurant. It's called the Bar à Bière. It has a terrace, which, which is what we want. We want to sit outside and have French food. And the menu, some unusual things. Um, L'œuf à cheval. Well, it's it sounds like a horse egg, but it isn't. <laughs> and then they have bavette de façon tigre. So that's like a kind of a flap of tiger meat, but <laughs> it's not really. Gunnar, look around. Look where we are. Where? We're in Paris. Yeah. Are you tired? No. Hungry? Very hungry though, eh? <laughs> you can vape at the table here. You can even smoke at the table. I like that. Okay, we had to move under this awning because it started raining, but look what happened. It rains and this thing just comes out. Um, so we have our food. Uh, it's an onion soup. You can't see it too well because the red awning is casting a red glow on it. But look, it's like a big, huge onion soup, which we're going to share. And then we're going to have a couple of sandwiches. I'll try a little bit of that before. Mm. Oh, yeah. Lots of flavor. I've never had an onion soup like that. <laughs> what is in there that gives it... Don't you find it tastes a bit like onion pizza but in a soup? I don't know what onion pizza tastes like. Well, if you had if you had onion pizza, I think it would taste like that. I know what it is. It's a, It's got like an Italian flavor to it because it has oregano in it. France has a different vibe than England. Um, Ireland and Bath, it was very, very chill. Everyone was just very relaxed. In London, it was relaxed too, but it was a little bit busier. It was kind of like New York if everyone was, you know, really sweet and polite. <laughs> as soon as we got into France, I, you could feel the energy shift, like change. It has a totally different vibe. A bit more like Montreal, a little bit of more intense. It's like um, a bit, a bit tense and a bit intense. And it's hard to even explain why I, we felt it. We both felt this. This is something about the way people move and talk and walk. Even the way they walk, like running around, like it's, I wouldn't say exactly aggressive, but it's definitely a very different, it, it doesn't have that chill, relaxed feeling. It's got like this intensity, but you know, alive, alive, a very like strong, vibrant, alive feeling. Oh, the food is here, and it's not like any cooked mystery I've ever had in Canada. Look at that. It's so big. Merci, okay. It looks like a, a giant eggplant parmesan. What in the world is this? It's like a veal parmesan or an eggplant parmesan with bread. Mm. It's good though. Hey, we got something uh, to do this evening. Well, we're doing our hobo backpacker laundry. 
right here at the Lavrie Libre Service and enjoying the scenery, all these gorgeous buildings from the 1700s. We're very impressed. Check it out. Look at this. Well, the whole place is like this. I know, kind of, we're going to be in there in a second. I'm just showing this. The whole place is like that. Okay, let's see how the let's see how the laundry goes. I hope they have soap because we didn't bring our own. Oh my God, it's another one of these 100% self-serve places. You have to figure it out. You have to put your I don't know, put your money in here. Uh, figure out how to buy your soap, and it corresponds to the number of your machine. So you just put like, put your clothes in, and then figure this out. That's really not my forte. I can do a lot of things, but figuring stuff out with machines is really not my uh, area of expertise. Oh yeah, good thing I speak French because all the instructions are in French. Mm. Look at this. This is supposed to be get out where you 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 get your soap but look do you see anywhere to put money it tells you how much it costs but it doesn't and it's supposed to come out of here but there is nowhere to put your money like i don't understand fuck i feel like a caveman uh -huh. the cave woman asked somebody so now i understand so let's say i want this i have to go over to this machine oops oh gunner can you get that oh okay Let's see, let's do this together. Okay, I got to do four zero. Hold on, one euro. We gotta put that in here. Oh. Oh, ça marche. Okay, wait, let's see how much it costs to wash it. 450 euros oh my god that's a lot of money okay we're gonna put all our clothes in one machine we did it we felt like getting something sweet while we wait for laundry and we went into this ice cream store and it is it's crazy look it's all the gelato the flavors they have though melon passion fruit like exotic flavors unbelievable and look what they do you can get as many flavors as you want and they put it like a rose isn't that the coolest thing what do i have in here i have lemon mango and passion fruit and Gunner, oh Gunner. Okay, oh, Gunner has cassis, that's like black currant, so melon, and agrume, that's like citrus fruit. Isn't that gorgeous? Merci beaucoup. Bonne soirée. Oh my god, they're so beautiful. Like that's crazy. Wow. And I want to, I want to show you in case you ever come here. I hope you do. Let me show what it is. Hold on. It's called Amorino Gelato Al Naturale. So beautiful. Oops, yeah, it's dripping already. Mm. I think you gotta eat it quickly. Oh, so good. Oh yeah, it melts fast. It looks nice, it looks like a rose. Beautiful. Really nice, so tasty. Oh my God, wow, this is like the best ice cream I've ever had. Oh, well, other than the clotted cream. Oh my God, the European ice cream. Uh. I want them to make ice cream like this in Canada. We're finishing up the laundry. Look at <laughs> folding up all laundry. Well, no, Gunner's talking to Callum just, while yeah, helping just... me fold the laundry. We're having a riotous good time in here, aren't we? Hey, guys. Okay, that's it for us for today. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Well, on the next or on the next adventure, or 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 at some other point in time, like you know. Yeah, whenever I make another video. <laughs> Probably tomorrow. <laughs>